commissioned a very serious review of the grants that we'd looked at in the past. We commissioned the review for two reasons. One, we were getting a large number of applications, many of them for small amounts, many of them from organisations that, worthy though they may be, were unsustainable in financial terms. Secondly, we think we're facing some serious environmental issues as a nation that need large multi-year grants that are able to address key policy issues facing the environmental future of Australia. Those issues we're focusing on are protection of our biodiversity and the development of urban and rural water and land management. Climate Works is a unique organisation. It has incredible credibility right across the scientific and environmental area. It also has credibility within government and within the corporate sector. And that combination of multifaceted capacity is one that we were looking for. ClimateWorks is a unique research and advisory organisation working with business and government to find practical solutions to reduce the impacts of climate change. We were established in 2009 as a partnership between Monash University and Philanthropy. So we act as a trusted advisor to uh, businesses, governments, investors and the wider community to analyse opportunities for reducing emissions and help unblock barriers to implementation to set Australia on a path to a prosperous net zero emissions future by 2050. We're noted for our um, unusually positive approach. We're very solutions focused and we, we highlight that climate change is an opportunity that Australia can grasp to enhance our prosperity while at the same time putting us on a path to net zero emissions. Climate Works has impeccable connections to the scientific advice it needs through its connections in Monash University. It also has an outstanding track record of linking with major policy development centres within government and within the corporate sector. And it's only by their multifaceted connections that they'll be able to develop the particular program that we're going to be funding with them. It's enormously significant for Climate Works to receive this support from the Ian Potter Foundation. The respect of the foundation amongst senior leaders sends a really strong signal that this is an important area that all should be focusing on. Also, the multi-year support is really helpful for us to enable our team of 20 staff who are skilled across business and government to do the agenda setting work that helps guide what campaigners call for and what governments and corporations can aim for. This funding supports all of our work uh, focusing on how we implement action on climate change across the research, implementation and engagement. Climate Works is very serious about their zero emissions by 2050 target and they are able to demonstrate clearly that that requires collaborative efforts across all sectors. The end game is to see Australia on a responsible path toward net zero emissions by mid-century, which is what the climate science requires. We can help support this by providing the policies that can accelerate action by governments and businesses across the community. The Conservation Ecology Centre is a really special organisation based in the Otways. It's an area of incredible biodiversity and some very real conservation challenges. This grant has supported an incredible program. Um, the Otways Threatened Species Research Network is bringing together everybody who's working on the land and with the species in the Otways. Government agencies, research institutions and our community to pool all of the information that we do have, to work out the information that we don't have where those key knowledge gaps are and to really drive targeted research to develop targeted programs for threatened species conservation. This grant has made it possible for us to bring together all of the information to create the most comprehensive database ever for threatened species in the Otways. We need to act quickly, we need to be very strategic and we need to take a scientific approach in order to be successful and this support allows us to do that. The project has many markers of success Knowing where threatened species are still surviving across the Otways and the state of those populations is, is a key marker. Being able to build on the health and viability of those populations is, is the reason for this project's existence. So the Foundation is supporting the Nature Conservancy's Mapping Ocean Wealth project. The project is developing new ways to value the way that our coastal habitats provide benefits to both people and nature. In the past, when we thought about our marine habitats like mangrove forests, salt marshes and seagrasses, we think about their biodiversity value or their species value. 
Mapping Ocean Wealth is going one step further and beginning to quantify exactly what it is that these habitats do for us. So whether that's producing fish, whether that's protecting our coastlines, or whether that's sequestering carbon, we're first modelling and then mapping these benefits and then translating them into a language which coastal developers, engineers, governments and the community can understand. So the Impotter Foundation has provided us with a leading gift that is not only going to enable us to achieve our, our outcomes of the project, but we've been able to leverage that gift and receive further resources from HSBC Australia, the Australian Government Research uh, Council and state government agencies in both New South Wales uh, and Victoria. So collectively we've now pulled together a Australian-wide team uh, to research the benefits of our coastal habitats and really work with our stakeholders to ensure that we can translate those benefits into tangible outcomes. So in the short term, we'll know that we'll have success when we've modelled and developed maps and really quantified the benefits that coastal habitats provide to both uh, people and nature. But in the long term, we'll know when these, these uh, maps and the values are integrated into uh, government decision-making processes and reporting like state of the environment reporting, like looking at the cost of benefit of developments. And we know we'll be successful when we have recreational fishers really advocating for habitat protection and repair because they know things like uh, how much do these habitats produce fish and where do they produce them. And we'll know we're successful when we have uh, coastal management groups like natural resource management agencies incorporate our maps and our values into their decision making processes so they can and look at cost benefit analysis uh, in terms of where best to spend their conservation dollars. Looking forward, we hope we'll be attracting applications from larger organisations that have key missions where they have success able to be demonstrated in either the environmental area itself or in the scientific associations of the environmental area or within commercial areas such as uh, companies as well as with government. But we're looking for leverage between organisations that have a proven track record that are able to demonstrate that they can develop with a serious volunteer element and a serious linkage to local communities, but have the possibility of future, particularly government support of various kinds. Mm -hmm.